Hello there, this is Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky, and today we're looking at the application called Sorted. I'm looking at the iOS version on the iPad, but it's also available on the iPhone and also on the Mac. And it's a pretty cool application, I like it. Now the reason I'm looking at it is because I want something simple to use for increasing my productivity and getting things done. In the past I've looked at OmniFocus, various other Get Things Done applications using the Reminders app alongside the Calendar app. OmniFocus has everything in it, including the kitchen sink, but sometimes it feels just a bit too complicated. Using reminders is pretty good, but is it too simple? And needs that other application alongside it to make it work. Using Sorted, we've got calendar events and tasks all in one application, and it's got a few other neat tricks up its sleeve to make it quite compelling for the work I want it to do. So let's have a look at some of the basics for the application. First of all, we're in the scheduling part of the application or hyper scheduling as they like to call it and we'll have a look at the first of all the three or four different ways that you can make a new task or event first way to do about doing it is to press the little red button on the bottom right hand corner it's got a little cross in the middle of it tap on that and then you can start putting in your new task okay so put in your new task then you can add some notes to it if you want to and you can add tags and I've set up a few tags so say it's something to do with my motorcycle and maybe something for YouTube I can click on done um, if you set it like this it's going to put it into the inbox but you can change it and put it into something else so if I put it into the garage thing there instead of going to the inbox it'll go to garage list we'll have a look at the list shortly and also you can instead of doing a new task you can do a new event and that means it'll go into the calendar Okay, so when it's set up, first of all, it goes into the day that you're working on, which is 24th of July, and it's set with no alert and no repeat. And it's a good idea to put some sort of duration in there. So it's going to say it's, this task is going to take about an hour, or it could be sort of less an hour. It could be sort of a task which is only going to take 15 minutes. Click on done, and then you can click on save, and it's in there. So that's one way of putting a new task into the system. Another way to do it would be to use the little grey cross at the bottom of the list there. And that brings up the same sort of thing there as well so uh, and again you can set it up either a new event or whatever so let's put it a new event this time it's going to go into the calendar uh, set up so it's not, not an all-day event it's just something that's going to be going at four o'clock in the afternoon but you can set all-day event if you wanted to so let's click on done with that for the moment and then just tap off it to be able to put it into your schedule Another way to start a new task will be to pull down from the top with your finger and you get the blue round thing, the cross in the middle in the centre. And again, we've got a new task. And then when we're making our things in here, we can put in more stuff so that uh, this, this note that I've got here, that could be a header one, or it could be a header two, or I could have it as a checklist. So I can have a bullet, bullet list if we want to. If I select that there, I can do various things with it. So I could put a uh, highlight on there, for instance. And you can see that numbers was highlighted with a blue color. So let's select that again and turn off the highlight. That might be one a bit, put it in bold. Um, so it's using uh, Markdown there, as you can see. So it's kind of cool. So let's say if I want to do something with Markdown, I just put in the uh, symbol for Markdown, uh, bold. And then that's gonna be in bold. Um, or what I can do is if I select that, I can put a strike through through it using these things at the bottom here or I can give it an underline so that's a few different things you can do with this here and also what I can do if I want to I can put in photographs so let's go to the photographs area get something from the image library and we'll add that so I've got pictures in there now and also what I can do is I can add something else like if I want to put some note in there when I'm scribbling something so maybe I've got to do some sort of drawing to use all the stuff that you've got available in your sort of markup system there so when I've done that there just tap on the top thing there and it's back into sorted and I've got a little drawing another way to create a new task is to split these two apart like this here and we get the blue symbol coming over the middle there again and that gives us a chance to make a new task by splitting the two things apart when you create your note in the schedule view, it's automatically set for today and for any time. You can pop up the dialog box to make changes to that if you want to. Choose a date and time. 
So let's go to this one here, for instance, and we can go to date and time. We can choose how we want to put it in there for tomorrow, so that's a possibility. And we'll click on done. And you can set it to, to be a repeat item if you want to. So that's going to have something that's going to repeat daily, time, anytime, and ending on a certain date. So let's have it ending in August. So we've got a repeating thing set up. When you're doing this repeat, you can set it up so it repeats regularly or after a completion. So once you've completed a task, it'll set up the next one ready to go. So that's another way of doing it. So put it uh, one day later or two days later, whichever whichever way you want. Let's click on done. And we'll click on done. So when I complete this task, it's going to set up a new task for me two days later. That's kind of nice. Let's go back into our list here. So this test one here doesn't have a, uh, a date set onto it. So what we can do is we can set a date by dragging this and dropping it. So now that's got a date on it as well. Now one of the important concepts of this application is the scheduling, or as I refer to it as hyper scheduling. When you're making a new task, you're given the option of adding a new duration. It's probably good to have a bit of a guess at how long you think it's going to take to do the task. You don't have to put something in there if you don't want to, but good if you can, make a bit of a guess. So this is a task here that went into the inbox and I say if I want to change that and put it into something else I can change it into one of the lists. So maybe it's going to go into the list of links for instance. So I'm going to tap off that there. And if I go into the list now you'll see that so I've got a number of things in the list and this is the one that I just put into the into links. And I've got uh, leisure items there so pull time that's in the list for leisure. And we've got tags. Now as you can see I put a tag motorcycle tag on there so anything that's tagged with motorcycle goes into here. And at the moment it's set up so that uh, the, these tasks are set up so that they've got a tag motorcycle and YouTube. So if I go into the YouTube one there, I've got there a number of different tasks there set for YouTube. So you've got a number of different ways of looking for your stuff in this application. I thoroughly endorse the use of tags throughout the Apple operating system. I'm pleased to see that tags are available within Sorted. This gives you an extra way to find tasks within your system as well as giving you an extra level of organisation. For example, you could have two tasks, one in the list for work. So let's go for a list again. It's got a task in here, one in the list for work, and let's put a tag on it. And plus tags. And we'll put it on tag for money. Click on done. Then let's come out of that there. Save for future. And then we've got uh, another one here that's going to groceries. And we'll do this one here. I'll put a tag on here. And we'll click money again on that one there. So I click on done. So it means that when you're going to look for tags here, and I want to find out everything that's within a particular sort of uh, project, the project in this case is money. I've got three items in there and I can find them across the various lists. It's also possible to start a new task or event from the tags area and this is where we get the green circle in the bottom right hand corner. And once we tap on that it gives you the same sort of facilities to create a new task as when you're doing it from the schedule or from the inbox. Organising your day and time with Sorted. Now this is where the scheduling comes into play. In the schedule area you'll see a list of tasks with today's date on them or whatever day you're looking at. They could have a time set already because you set a time when you created the task or event. You'll see these times in the left hand column in the list. There's a bell icon there if you've set an alert for the task and there's a hyphen if nothing has been set for the task at all. The one at the top here is event which has been brought in from the calendar. Okay so this is where the magic starts to happen. You can move tasks up and down the list manually so let's get this split apart here and move it down the list here to that position there. and. I want to promote the video and I'll promote the video later after I've had some pull time. Now this is the best feature of Sorted. Now I'm going to sort of press and hold and then move down and this is a way to select multiple items at the same time. And then what I want to do is I want to use the auto button. This is the auto scheduling which is going to come up now. And I've got it set so that at 11 o'clock the day is going to start for doing these tasks. So I'm going to click on next and the buffer in between is going to be 15 minutes and it's going to assume a duration of 15 minutes unless I put a duration in there already and now I'm going to click on start. We get a nice little animation and it sets up the day for me. As you can see there we've got uh, 11.30 edit the video, 11.55 split apart and 13.10 for pull time. 
So that's kind of cool. And with this little ruler thing that's at the side here, if I tap and hold and move up and down, it changes it in one hourly increments. So if I want to move it forward an hour, I tap on that there and everything goes forward for one, it goes forward one hour. If I use the one on the right hand side here, it goes up and down in five minute increments. So I can change that now and put it back 20 minutes. When I've got everything set to my liking, just click on done. And when you've got that done, now it's time to close the sorted application and go and do your stuff. Stop messing about with it. You still have a lot of leeway with your list of tasks and the time set and the duration for doing the work. You could leave it as it is and just hop from one task to the next, not paying much attention to the time set for starting and finishing. It really depends on the work that you're doing. But you could sort of occasionally look back at your uh, sorted application and just click on things that have been done. So tap on that there to say that's been done, for instance. And then you can have a look at the time set for the other things there and maybe you need to make some sort of adjustments so you can go back into this again there. And maybe in slacking it a little bit, you need to bring it forward by say 15 or 20 minutes and start fresh. Another way to set the tax as being done is to go to this here and just slide it across to the right from the left side and that's the job done. If I want to look at what's happening tomorrow, I'll just slide the panel across and have a look at tomorrow. So I'm really quite impressed with the application. Sorted seems to have sorted me out and hopefully I'll be able to banish procrastination, get more things done. No more prevaricating and wasting time. With this application you get a calendar, reminder and Pomodoro technique capabilities all in one space. Once you get into the ideas and concepts of the application you'll find it fairly easy to use. It doesn't overwhelm like OmniFocus does and doesn't give you too many options to be distracted by. Now if you've got something from this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget that you can subscribe and get more tutorial videos as I make them. Hit the bell icon as well and you'll get notifications whenever I make a new video. Thanks for watching. This is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.